The mere mention of Judy Bloom instantly suggests adolescence. 28 books in a career that began in the late 60s on a New Jersey cul-de-sac. You have generally been reticent about any television or film adaptations of your books. Why is that? I don't know. I mean, I love movies. I adore movies. I grew up on movies, as you know. Um, but not every book needs to be a movie. I certainly am reticent about Margaret. Bloom's breakout book, published in 1970, became a big bestseller and a rite of passage for generations of girls. I can't imagine allowing anyone to make Margaret into a movie. I mean, every young person who comes to Margaret needs to imagine Margaret in her own way. You know, there is no one Margaret. But when it came to a feature film, I always knew, I always felt anyway, that I had a couple of them and that Tiger Eyes was the best one to do. And I always knew that if it was ever going to be done, my son would do it. A bright smile, Tiger. With sad eyes. It was a wonderful experience. Um, making the movie with your son. Yes, adapting it and making it. I mean, it could have been horrible, but there's no point in working together if we're not going to make it work. Being on the set, that was a whole other thing. I loved that so much, I never wanted it to end.